Once upon a time, there was a man named Joel. He had a very green past, but today he was feeling special. That's because Joel had found a hole full of chickens. Joel poured lava into that hole, and that is the end of this story. The end. Wow, guys, weren't you moved by that story? These intro stories just get more and more deep each time. And of course, this is the part where I ask you to subscribe. But let's be real. If you haven't subscribed already, why are you going to subscribe now? There's nothing I could say or do that could convince you. All I can do is ask nicely, so... Do it. No, I'm kidding. Please. Thank you. Okay, start the video, Joel. Welcome back to the wonderful world of X-Life. We are stood here in front of our beautiful, yeah, I said it, beautiful looking area that we've got going, which we're going to be working on today, of course. Is it me or is this grass waving a bit more than usual? It's just slowed down now. That was weird. Oh. Speeding up again. So there's a few things we're going to get working on today. And one of them might be that we'll be the first person on the server to have a shop. If we can get it up and running, that is. As I have been AFKing my little zombie farm down here. As you can see by all this leather. That is a lot of leather. Let's put it in our backpack. We really need to get a super smelter up and going so we can convert this. That would be very nice. And we're probably going to put it down here somewhere. We have to sort out this room first. As it's one of the more ugly things that we've got going in comparison to what we have up here. But for now, let's just smelt it in those furnaces we have. But we also have another goal today. And that goal is to do with our villagers we've got over here. We've got these two farmer villagers. And this one already will trade some melons. We haven't converted them, so it's only one melon per emerald. But I want to make a melon and pumpkin farm. I was talking about it last episode that I think it'd be awesome to have something up on the hill there. And a melon and pumpkin farm would work perfectly. I could have a series of hoppers bringing it down. And because they're so effective, we'd easily be able to make loads of emeralds. However, to make observers, you need quartz. And quartz is found in the nether. So we're going to head to the nether today, which means we need a nether portal. And rather than just build the standard looking nether portal, let's make a nice nether portal to go through. So I'm going to clear some space slash fill in some water over here. All right, so I've gathered a lot of materials. I've cleared out this space here. I think this would be a good place to put it. Not entirely sure what I'm going to do with this whole area just behind it yet, but here will be a good place for the portal. So let's get building this quickly, shall we? And you know what? This seems like a job that lazy beans can watch. And I wanted to make this portal look like it fit in with the rest of the area. So of course, we used a lot of spruce wood. We used a lot of spruce leaves and we made it look really nice and overgrown. And we also changed the floor as well to look old and mossy. All right, I'm really happy with this. I think it's looking very good. Gonna make obviously a little path around here at some point, which will lead to Lizzie's and Moo Moo Meadows. But this nether portal is looking good. We're almost ready to go there. And I'm actually gonna stream my adventures in the nether. Although hopefully it's a short adventure and most of it will be building the pumpkin and melon farm. But first, we've been building up our enchanting points as we want to enchant our armor. Let's start with the legs, which are completely unenchanted at the moment. And we get rebounding and unbreaking six. Pretty poor. You know what? I'm going to disenchant a few of these. The boots as well and the helmet. We've got fire protection on our chest plate, so I kind of want to keep that. But these ones, we want better. Respiration 4, projectile protection 7, right? What about the boots? Do we get feather falling? No, but we do get protection. That's pretty good. Rubbish legs again. All right, okay, I'm just going to keep disenchanting until I get one that I like. There we go. Protection four that'll do depth strider on the boots still no feather falling and i've run out of enchantment points so we're gonna head to the never on stream so i'll light the portal then come check him out on my second channel more smallish beans but let's just afk this zombie farmer for a while and see if we can get some enchanted boots just before we stream all right we hit level 40 enchantment again what do we get this is our last one feather falling six and protection four that is beautiful plop that on it's never time baby so this is what happened on my stream we we got some quartz, plus some other never goodies. We found a fortress. I got scared a lot. Ah, it's a, it's a pig man. It's a pig man. It's fine. We managed to kill some blazes. Killed one. We got a blaze rod. And that was it for the never. I then realized we needed melons. And Scott offered me some melons, but I didn't want them. But he tried to force one on me anyway. I wanted to get my own melon, so I sent Scott a message. That's what I think of your melon, Scott. We then made a nature compass and went and got a melon ourselves. And then we built our melon and pumpkin farm. Also, at one point, Lizzie came in and tried to kill me. What's that? I don't know. Is it go poison? Into it, go into it. Ba babe. Go into it. <gasps> Why would you do this to me? I don't have milk. You can't call Napoleon if you need him. You don't need it. You don't need it. I'm dying. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? How long is it lasting? Oh, my goodness. 
And that leaves us here with our new melon and pumpkin farm up there. And we've also hollowed out a little way down here. We're going to have a brand new room. And in this room is where we're going to collect all our melon and pumpkins. And I've decided, right, we're not messing around this time. We are going to build an item sorter so that the melons go into one chest and the pumpkins go into another chest. I need, however, some hoppers, which means I need iron. So we're actually going to have to go mining. As at the moment, I am running very low on resources. In fact, this 10 iron here is the last iron I have. Let's see if we can gather some iron. Oh, gosh. Is that a creeper spawner? Oh my gosh. Oh, it just blew up that chest. Had some cool stuff in it. Captured Enderman spawn egg. What the heck? That's a creeper spawner. Interesting. That'll be a good source of gunpowder. Oh, that's good to know for the future. Missing my iron farm on Minecraft goals right now. All right, so we got a decent amount of iron now. We can make some more hoppers. I'm going to start, though, by setting up this system to automatically sort this stuff. Luckily, we managed to get a decent amount of quartz and stuff from the nether, meaning we can make a load of redstone stuff with ease. All right, so I think we're going to have three storage chests, two for melons and one for pumpkins, and we'll do these up three as well. Obviously, we'll work on decorating this cave another time. We just want to get this sorted for now. And I've made the system a couple of times now, so it's kind of easy to set up. Now, there's actually a really cool redstone thing that Scott pointed out to me. It's called a shoot. This is what it looks like. And how it works is, so your shoot's there. You have a hopper going into the shoot. Whatever goes in the hopper, say a load of cobblestone, gets dispensed out of the shoot. It's like a dispenser, except it doesn't need redstone and it's quiet which is amazing. So we're going to take advantage of this, get our chutes to go down into our automatic item dispenser here, which should basically be ready to go. Although I still need to sort out the hoppers. We need decent amount of pumpkins and melons first. I'm not sure actually how many we've got from this yet. Okay, we got enough melon. All right, now we can set this up like so. It should be one working. Nice, get stopped there. And the other one as well. And all we need now is a stack of pumpkins. We can set the final one. But let's work on getting the shoot thing to work. There we go. It's working. Going into the water there and getting filtered. We've got a big backup system up here. Oh, gosh. All right. Well, at least we know our feather falling works there. And there we have it. It's coming into these two chests here. And we now have the ability to buy golden carrots, except they cost three emeralds each right now, which is quite expensive. All right. So we do need to decorate the cave in there. But you know what? I did some cave last time. Instead, now I want to work on that thing up there because I feel like if we can make this cliff look really awesome, it's going to really add to our like whole area. At the moment, <laughs> look how terrible that looks. Once that's changed, that's going to look so cool. So let's get the dimensions of that and we'll mess around on our like creative world to see if we can come up with a cool design. There's actually so many things that I want to do and I just don't have time for it. So we've got to prioritize what we're doing this episode and this was our main priority. And honestly, I'm thinking a windmill would look awesome here. Okay, I've designed something which I think honestly is going to look beautiful. So let's bring back Lazy Beans as we once again go into a super quick time lapse. So I am really happy with how this thing turned out. There's still a few things missing, but I feel like it's completely improved the area now that we've got something on top of this cliff here. I tried to keep this thing a very similar style to the builds down below, but as you can see, we're using bamboo blocks for the roof there. And you could probably see on the side as well, there's some bamboo growing. That may look like a lot of bamboo, but do you want to see how much bamboo I actually had to grow to get the amount of blocks I needed? This is how much bamboo I needed. It was ridiculous. And because of that reason, this build actually took about four to five hours to build. It's only small, I know, but it was a pain in the butt to get all that bamboo. But it was worth it in the end. I think it ended up looking really good. I'm still not certain if I even like the bamboo roof. I think it looks good, although it kind of just like sticks out a little bit. And um, I'm just a bit unsure still. But of course, we had to add a chimney on top of it, as is the theme with every single build we've got going here and you can see as well we started terraforming the mountain a little bit adding in some leaves i'm still not happy with that i think we need to add a tree on there but i'm scared of building trees for now instead let's watch a lovely zoom out of this place
And there we go. I think it's looking really good. I'm very happy with it. Apart from that bit of bamboo. Let me change that. There we go. Isn't that so much better? Joey's in Lizzie's Moo Moo Meadows right now. What is he doing over there? Has he seen me? Oh no. I think he's just touched Lizzie's daisy. I think Joey's just having... A wonder. So now that our area is looking a little bit nicer, I think we can work on our leather shop. And I want to do quite a funky design for this. I want to do it completely different from what we've got going over here, as we're going to be building it at spawn. So it may not look like it, but it's been about two hours since I last spoke to you. In my backpack here, I've put together a load of materials we're going to be using to build this shop. I think I have everything. I'm scared to leave because it costs so much enchanting points, but... Let's head to spawn. I haven't actually been here in a while. How are we doing on the leaderboard? Oh gosh, we're quite low down. Callum still on his one heart. Lauren on two. Scott's on two. What? We're, we're not doing very well, are we? Oh my gosh, never mind. Five and five for Pat and Jack. <laughs> so we need to find a location for this shop. We've got the clubhouses over here. So I'm thinking maybe on the other side. One of the exits of spawn is just here. So this could be a good place just up here, maybe. We're not too far away from those other things. And I've got an idea in mind of what I want this thing to look like. So let's clear some space. And let's get to work. The first shop of the server coming right up. So for this shop, I wanted to give an ode to the zombies that actually gave us all this leather. I've killed many of them during this time. And I decided what better way to represent a zombie than a gravestone which says RIP on it, of course, and have a hand reaching out of a grave, holding our shop. So that's exactly what I did. I used some cyan concrete there. Don't know why I said cyan so weird. And put like a big zombie hand. There's some, like bloody bits on it as well. It's not that gross though. And of course, on the top, we are going to have a couple of chests or crates to put our leather and other stuff in. And I've decided now, every time I've built something, I'm going to show you a nice cinematic view of how it looks when finished. Finished. And there it is. I'm very happy with it. I think it looks awesome. We can now remove this stuff here. I'll give you a full view of it. Here's the back. Got the big thing over here. The ground's all done. I feel like I need to add some bow mill to this, but I just don't have... Oh, wait, I do. Make it look nice and overgrown. There we go. That looks a bit better. So all we have to do now is stock it. And I've had an idea of how we can get people to continue to buy leather. Also... I've made one of these warp scrolls. You make them with just some purple dye and paper like so. And then if you do this, you can teleport to a waystone for free. You don't have to use enchanting points. Look at that. Beautiful. So we'll make a load of these at some point just to get around a bit easier. That'll really help. But here's my idea, right? I think everybody has a lot of sugar cane, which means they don't know what to do with it. How about we put a villager who can trade books for emeralds? So they'll buy the leather off me, make the books, and then trade them with that villager for emeralds. It's like sort of like an encouraging way for people to get emeralds, as I know not everyone has the same sort of setup as I do here. I think that'd be quite a cool way of getting people to buy our leather. So let's convert one of these villagers in our hole here. We may as well see if we can get an actual useful enchant as well. This is quite a fun enchant. Let's do this one. So I've decided to sell some rotten flesh as well, as you can see here. I'm going to sell two stacks of rotten flesh for one diamond, whereas I'm only going to sell one stack of leather for one diamond. So I've built a little hut here for our villager to go. We'll put a little sign up there saying Emerald Jeremy's Book Trades, and we have a little name tag we got from that chest earlier, and we'll call him Emerald Jeremy, like so. Hopefully he won't despawn, and this whole area is looking complete now. I'm happy with that. I'll let everyone else know that the shop is now open, and I'm pretty sure Emerald Jeremy's safe in there. I don't think any mobs can get to him. I hope so, at least. So he's open for business. Hopefully, next time we log in, we'll have some diamonds. But probably not. We'll see. What else is anyone going to spend their diamonds on? There's no other shops. And you know what? I've decided, how about we give our first customer a bonus? They can have this backpack plus three stacks of paper and 32 bucks for being the first customer in hopes that they will come back in the future. Let's rename the backpack First Customer Reward. And I'll put it up here at the top of the hand in clear sight, so hopefully the first customer notices it, and if not, I'll make sure whoever is the first customer will get it. Man, we have made some incredible progress today. We've got a pumpkin and melon farm, we've got a nether portal, and we have a shop. What more could you ask for? Do you know what you could ask for? Villager converter, so that these villagers actually give us the best trades, as at the moment, four melons for one emerald is not amazing. 
But hey, this guy gives free at the moment. But we haven't got one that trades pumpkins yet. I'm hoping that this guy will. Nope. But he is selling golden carrots for two emeralds. So I'll take some of those while we can. Been very unlucky with farmers that can trade pumpkins. Hmm. But unfortunately, this farmer hasn't given us the trades we desired. So we must sacrifice him to the emerald gods by taking him far away from the base where no one can see into this hole here. And we say the magical words. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then we replace him with another farmer villager and pretend nothing happened. You guys saw nothing. I'm hoping we took him far enough away that these villagers don't hate us. Yeah. Hey, yup. Here we go. That's what we're looking for. You can come with me and replace nobody. You've been there the entire time. And now we can get rid of these pumpkins that begin to stack up. And all we need now is another one. But anyway, guys, we have made a lot of progress today. I'm extremely happy. Go tell everybody on X Life to buy stuff from my shop, but, but, but please. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Make sure to leave a like and comment if you did enjoy it. And subscribe if you're new. As I've heard, you're, you're pretty cool if you do that. And I shall see you another time. Goodbye.